Hey, watch. Mm. You live. I know where you work. Mm. I know where you like to hang out. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna kick your ass. And I'm gonna kick ah, your ass. Ah, God. I don't wanna listen to that. Okay. <sighs> you need to go interview Kid Vicious right now and see what he thinks about that. I... I need a nap. Pleasure. So, I have a few questions for you today. I was told to come here by our new boss, uh, Fancy Jack? Fancy, Fancy Jack. Jack. Fancy Jack, got it. Thank you. Um, I just have a few questions I need to ask you. First of all, I mean, I just, I'm just as shocked as anyone that you are Little Giggles, Beast, and all these other people all in one. So, why were you all of them all in one, is my question. It's a very good question and a question that I'm sure most people have right now. Which I'm sure everybody it. is very confused why I did what I did and why I did it for so long. So first, I was the skeleton and the beast, right? Skeleton, I gotta go out there, I gotta perfect my craft even more. Since I was so busy running the company as the boss, I had to make up another character so that I would get more TV time, more practice for a sec and it was also a funny little comic gimmick i just go out there have fun and make the people laugh but then giggles came in right biggest threat around back then so if you can't beat them join them and then once you join them screw them and that's exactly what i did the first reason i joined giggles was so that I was always one step ahead of him. I always knew his next move. And I used that to my advantage. That's why I'm one of the only people who have ever been able to beat Giggles. That's why I did it. It's a lot. Well, with that, um, you certainly don't have the best of friends in this company. And one of them being Drake, who just continuously just keeps on coming back for more. So, my question is to you, I assume you've already seen the video where he has dogged on you very, very violently, I should say. So, my question is to you, what's your response? My response? And Drake, I'm not talking to the fans. I'm not even talking to this kid right here. I'm talking to you. Drake... What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you delusional? Are you freaking stupid? I've beaten you time and time and time again. I made you quit. I went to your own city and beat you. Yet you keep coming back. You keep challenging me. You keep losing. When are you going to get the message? When are you going to figure out you're not going to beat me? You never will be able to. And you never have been able to. See... My honest opinion is that his strategy is to keep coming back, hating on me, because the only fucking fame he gets is when I'm absolutely trashing him and smearing his face into the dirt. And that's the only time people have ever seen you. Your face under my boot. So to you, Drake, you can threaten me, but you're not a threat. Very wise words. Well, I think that's all the time I have right now. I think I do believe it's fancy fellas call me back to his office. Well, thank you for your time, and I hope all goes well. Uh, Jesus. It's very nice to meet you, new boss. Uh, I am very glad to be doing business with you. You better watch it next time. You did not just allow the title to touch the f you fucker. Your title doesn't mean shit.
I'm fighting you right now for your belt. And this brawl has now turned into an official match for the United States Championship. Uh, you know, our rules are very loose here. And uh, I think we're going to allow it. I think we're going to allow this match to happen. Let's let them settle this the right way in front of the front yard. Drake looking that way. Oh, and quite the Inzagiri there. Uh, earlier, we did see Big No Terry. He tried to get that plant out. I don't know why, but he couldn't get it out. On the fence, almost breaking from the body weight. Barry going into Drake. Now Drake in a very precarious situation right there on the recycling bin. Now, I want to add... Drake is not exactly in the wrestling attire, I would say. I mean, they did just run into each other in the hallway, like... Well, even Barry Free, I think Barry Free's tied both of his shoes now during the brawl. I mean, he definitely was not ready for this. Ready for this either. Bam! Right into that bin. Oh, my God. Drake being there. Right time, right place. And now stripping his shirt off. Throwing it over into the porch area. Oh my gosh, bending that metal stick over Barry's back. Look at that. Look at that 90 degree angle on that stick right there. Now grabbing Barry's head and bringing him over to the fence now. Just getting right into the recycling bin. Barry is out. Already so dirty from all the leaves. Now that might be why Drake took off his shirt. Doesn't want to get that nice shirt dirty. It looks quite nice. Now Drake looking to set up a table. But I don't think Barry Barry going to let that happen. Meeting him halfway with the table. Smacking him all oh, right on that back, too. Man, I didn't even back. know you were no back. Hurt. Yeah. That's Welcome bad. back. Like, if I was to wrestle, I don't think I would ever take my shirt off. That's extra padding that you need in a match. And now Barry finishing the job that Drake started setting up that table. Drake back to his feet, however. Looking oh. interrupted. Oh, and kicking him from underneath the table. He's got the table set up, and now... Oh, a spin right to Drake. Kicking him in the nuts, whether it was intentional or not. That's pretty big. And now Barry Free playing and Drake over this table. Oh, now trading punches. Barry Free and Drake here. Barry getting the off end of that encounter. Drake does have his rings on. I think that is probably the one. That oh, and a forward buster. But it doesn't even matter. The gut of Drake going right through that table. Didn't break it, though. Now Barry's got that recycling bin. Going to strike the Barry slamming the recycling bin right onto the head of Drake. Barry looking quite tired already. Taking him Drake up. Looking to throw him into something. Throws him right into that barrel. His rib cage is hitting it and he Trying to get back up, to, but just became unbalanced and fell right back onto his back. It is actually interesting that this match is happening right now, as uh, Drake has not come here for Barry Free. He's come here solely for Kid Vicious. Oh, and a drop kick by Drake. And, uh, you know, he just happened to get into a little beef with Barry Free backstage. Yep, so, I mean, sometimes things happen. You just gotta go with the flow. Now Drake, oh, picking up Barry Free and slamming him onto the ground. That has to hurt. Right on that cold, hard dirt. Let me tell you, there's no bounce to that ground. You land on that ground, that's a very hard surface right there. That is true. Now picking up an abnormally long table. I mean, that table is huge. You could turn two tables into that one table. Now Drake has that table set up. Oh! Barry pushing away Drake right into that recycling bin. Now jumping off into the table. 
where the piece of wood and a little payback slamming that table onto the back of Barry Free. The showcase of that giant table by the cameraman. I was setting it back up onto the fence how Barry had it, making sure that it's right into that ground, kicking it into that ground so that that board will not move and Barry will go through it. Now let's see if he actually goes through it. Oh, and stomping on his foot. Cheeky move right there. Now grabbing Barry. Looking for a spine buster right through the table. I don't think he broke it. That table is invincible. Now picking up Barry. Bringing him over to the recycle bin. Oh, switching sides. And I'm going for that power bomb. Hey, it's it. Oh my gosh. Slamming Barry right onto the recycling bin. That was very violent the way he just bounced off of that thing and landed straight onto the ground. Is he okay? And I'm in the strength of Drake to lift someone his size with ease. Oh my gosh. What a stiff shot to the head. Timber! Oh, and that shovel falling all the way from the heavens down to hell. Right timber. through Barry's back. As you heard, Drake did say timber and timber indeed. <laughs> I'm putting him in a submission move, but dropping him right on the ground afterward. I guess we're wrestling in the rain. Oh, oh and a low blow okay. by Barry. Another one. That's the second one in this match. Slamming his own or something in two. Barry looking to set something up. What 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 could this be? What could he be planning? Now grabbing Drake. <gasps> we might just see exactly what Barry Free is looking to do here. And now bring it Barry Free up on that platform with him. That is a rickety recycling bin right there. I'm surprised they're even able to balance up there. Oh, I don't, oh my god! Slamming him right off of the recycle bin. Toilet table instant replay in slow motion there. What Where? an impact. You want to fight. His body just crumbled right after said. slamming through that table. Does not matter. It's, it's weird. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it really doesn't make sense. Earlier, Drake talked about how worthless One, the title is. And, two, and now I don't think he's going to win it. And he, he he doesn't. Barry retains the championship that Drake so-called 